Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. In this one we will be going, or we will um, see a lot of the settings, the basic settings that you have with the Cadence team, the Cadence uh, free team. You don't have to have the pro version installed, everything concerning WooCommerce. You can, they have a pro plugin, uh, the Cadence shop kit they have, and they also have uh, Cadence elements of course, that I've used in a, a lot of uh, previous videos. With those, you can uh, create more customized versions of the, what you see now. But there are still a lot of options already available for us with the general default customizer settings. So I have a simple shop page set up. This is just 10, um, 10 items that I have inserted. It's just I made this with a, with a plugin that just makes dummy posts or dummy products, uh, whatever you want. Uh, and you see, by default, the shop page looks like this. I haven't done anything. The styling, of course, the colors are set up, so normally it won't be this darker color with this uh, flashy uh, fluor uh, color. But this is something I'm working on a website where I will be going step by step, uh, developing a website from scratch and showing how I, how I arrived at the website. Uh, that is, this is something for a later video, but that's why you see these colors uh, at the moment. Yeah? Uh, you see by default you have some uh, sorting uh, that's available. And you also can change to the list view where it looks like this. And then uh, if we click on one, we have the single product layout. So this is the default uh, layout that you have with uh, WooCommerce. Um, but you see we will have the, uh, we have some options to, to make some uh, to make some changes and that's we have to go to the customizer for that so if we open it up and if you have WooCommerce installed you will see that we have an additional field here that says WooCommerce if you click this you will have different uh, options this is when you may we're still developing your store and you want people to have a little notice this is uh, something that can be if you just click this you will see we have a banner immediately where they can have a dismiss button uh, to click this away but this allows you to, to give some sort of a warning or some sort of a um, field on top of the store. Um, you can also do something like that with Cadence Elements, but then again you need to have the Pro version installed. This is just coming with the free version. And then you can of course uh, change some uh, like the color of the font and then the font itself you can set a different font and you can also change the background color. So this is something uh, basic that you can set up here. Okay. So this is a store note notice. You can also put in a different text, of course. And then you can set here the placement. Uh, where did you, do you want it to show? So on the bottom or on the on top, you can place it. Oh, I should enable it. So now it's going to be on the bottom, on top. And then this is a little bit close. You see it's like hanging over the top side. So now you see my header that's underneath uh, is not visible anymore. If I select uh, above, you see I have my header back, okay? Then, product catalog. This is the thing we are seeing now. You can, this is the same settings you have with the normal Cadence um, archive settings. So you can disable the title if you want to. Now you will see shop is gone. You can show it. You can make it inside of it, so it's more now on the side. You can also make it like this. It can be full width, and then you can set with design. If we go to the archive title background, we can set the difference. So you will see now it's full width. Maybe pick a, and let's make a darker title. So now we have a dark shop color, and now we have the background color that's a bit more flashy. Uh, and now you will see if I change this um, contained, it will be the same width as the shop page itself. Uh, full width, it will span across, if I hide this way, span across the whole width of the page. You can set the alignment, you can set it to the left, to the right, in the middle, you can do whatever you want. And if you do it like this, you don't have the background, so you see the shop, let's change the color. Now you see that the shop is just on top of the, on top of the shop page, but it's not with the background, and the ab ability to change the background color is also gone, because I don't have the background option enabled. So this is the background option, okay? So that's a little bit of customization that you can do. Then, next thing we have, oh, I go back to the product catalog. We can also change the height of the container where the shop is inside of. Yeah. 
we can enable breadcrumb if you want people to have a breadcrumb now it's on top here but the color i need to change because now it's not visible so again with design you will see that the breadcrumb colors are over here let's set maybe this and this so on hover it gets like the light gray and uh, if it's active it's like a darker color so it's something you can set up if you want to the title this is the one like the shop now you see it's gone and then description is also something i don't have a description set up but you can hide it away or enable it here then this is the uh, normal layout width this is taking in the same values as the width you set in the general setting so uh, let me show you real quick if I go to general layout content max width is 1200 pixels it normally should take this 1200 pixels as a width if I enable this uh, inside here this is the normal I also have the narrow, lay uh, narrow layout this is by default 842 pixels with cadence and then you will see everything is squished together a little bit more you also have the full width one where it's spanning across the whole page also if I disable this you see not looking too nice but it's an option and then you can also enable the sidebar um, and then you can have two different sidebars you can set up um, and you can make customized uh, sidebars this is something I will show you in another video because we can also use cadence elements for that which works beautifully to make a nice uh, custom sidebar for it um, so now we're not going to go into depth for this but the default sidebars are not so useful because they just contain the like the general blog posts um, and the categories so I don't really like them too much right? so let's go back to the normal layout then you can set a boxed or unboxed you will see uh, this is the you see the difference in styling so this is what the you can set the colors and stuff because now it's not too obvious yeah? you can set this here you can also the sorting can be gone now it's you see here on the right side this is gone now most of the time i think you want this enabled uh, and you can also disable this toggle so it's not or it is visible yeah the bottom slide up uh, this is what you see if i hover over it you see the add to cart coming up and you can set this to be like this just some text with an arrow like it says here but you can also make it a button and then it's like a, a general button you can also say i want it to be always visible and then you have it like this where you have the always on every product there will be the also with the text with arrow it will always be there underneath so something you can set up the main shop page this is the one you see now you can say i only want to see the categories uh, they don't have categories but this is something if you have that set up it will be like these squares with the images you have set up and woocommerce will be aligned here something you can do you can set them both as well then you have the default sorting so this is how the page is opened how should they be sorted so how how uh, should they always be popularities uh, like this the amount of sales should they be shorted by default like this they can change it change it by default you can change the settings uh, themselves if they visit the page but you can set it here whatever you uh, want you can also set the amount of rows you want and the amount of columns you want and then on mobile you can say i want one or i want two columns you will see now it has two so this is something you can change okay so this already gives you a lot of options to set some styling in the woocommerce uh, template and then you still have with design some things we can do so we have the archive title font so we can set it uh, Let's change it to orange, so you see this is this title that we can change. We can also set the font size and the font family and all those things. And then the price we can also set, uh, for example, the yellowish color is something you can also change. If you want it to be more obvious, you can make it as big as you want to. And then you can also set the background if you want the whitish uh, background. You see now this is the content background, so where the content is, the text is, it's going to change the... Uh, color so this is something you can choose um, and side background is going to be this yeah? so a lot of options here to make it a little bit more your own uh, custom uh, website now you will probably see better when i go back to general and change this to the unboxed version 
now you see the unboxed version doesn't have like a box around it's just blending together with the background of the site with this you have a background of the site and then you have like the own little box that you can choose so that's all uh, things you can set up okay so this is a quick one uh, just some general settings then we have the single product layout so if i open one up a little bit of the same uh, stuff you can make a smaller layout so it's going to take the 842 pixels you can have a sidebar again we can then again do this with games elements make it a custom sidebar that's relevant for uh, this image yeah gonna go with the uh, normal maybe the narrow layout yeah then you can also uh, enable or disable these breadcrumbs you can say there has to be nothing on top so now it's gone or you can have an extra title category so this is like the category now there are no categories so it's just uncategorized so it's something you can choose then again same thing you can make it boxed or unboxed but you will see this clearer if I change the coloring if I go up and go to design and then change the background to something light and I now go back to boxed now you see you have the background with the box around and with this it blends with the same it has the same color as the side background so there is no really a difference in between with this you have the difference between the product and between the site background you again can choose what you want if you want to have a rating enabled yes or no there is no rating here but if they if you have like uh, people that rate your product it will also be shown here the price can be disabled or enabled and you can also add some extra like a free shipping or something you can put in yourself here it doesn't really matter you can choose what you want same with the excerpts this is the uh, there is no excerpt at the moment that's why it doesn't do anything but th that would be here like a short description of it add to cards I think you most of the time want this to be a want this to be visible you can do some basic settings so the normal one is by default you can make it bigger or you can make it really big this is something you can choose extras you can enable this like this free shipping on orders over 50 so this has, gives you some options you can open this up you can change the text you can change the so this is the this one is the title then you have the bullet points you can change the icon if you want to and then you can add fourth fifth feature where you can put in your own uh, bullet points yourself okay payments if you want this enabled safe checkout is so um, something that can help to make it look more credible your store where you have like something like this you just enable this and it gives you some options like the gray color or the inherent colors from the from the, from the brands themselves you can put this on you can say i want to have stripe enabled powered by stripe and then you can disable or uh, depending on where you are maybe you have apple pay but you don't have discover and Emacs. you can all select whatever you uh, offer of payment gateways and then you also have some custom options where you can add an image let me just do the glasses to show you and then you see here the glasses are inserted so cool features to make it look a little bit uh, different than the normal WooCommerce uh, website and then product meta you can disable or enable so this is the category that's on the bottom you see it disappearing here and then sharing can also be enabled or disabled all right then you have an option to use a custom quantity plus and minus so this is here so one and two if I disable this, you see it's the default up and down arrows. So this is something you can choose for. And then tab style is this one, these two. If I do center, then they will be centered here with a with a border underline instead of at the light left side. And then you can show related products. This is something also relevant. So if you scroll down, you have the related products. You can say I don't want them to be seen, just disable. Oh, this is the one I need to disable yep. so then they will be gone you can enable them and if you don't like the four columns especially if you use a narrow uh, way layout then you can switch this to two or to three so you don't have too much columns here you have the two relevant uh, elements so these are some basic stuff that you can set up with the single post let me go back to the shop now then product images you can set uh, the image size used for the main image on single product pages so the single product is this the main image 
this is the uh, image width, the maximum width that you can set up, and then the thumbnail is 300. This is in the catalog, so the catalog is in this uh, part, so you can change this if you uh, wanted to. The size of it, it depends on how many columns you have, and then you will have the uh, uncropped is not a good idea because that sometimes can give you like a weird um, dimension, so one on one. Uh, make sure that if you use custom images that they are always looking as a square and they are all looking the same and uh, taking up uh, the same amount of space. Yeah. Then you have the checkout. Um, so this is, a, let me just maybe do a checkout so we can see it. Add to cart. View my cart. Then to checkout. Okay, so this. Company name fields, you can set it to hidden if you don't need this field, it's going to be gone. Then we can also dress line 2 if you don't want this to be uh, shown, then this is gone as well. Phone field, you can set to required hidden optional, same thing. Then you have the privacy policy page you can set up, and then terms and conditions you should have also with the store. Then these will be linked to here, you see the privacy policy. And then you can set a custom message, you can change this or you can leave this like it is. So this is how he says here, you can't pay, that's because my WooCommerce isn't actually live or set up, this is just a demo site. Um, so these are the things you can do with the checkout, uh, and I think we have the most important things covered now. Uh, so it's still basic, you can't really change all, all things about the shop or whatever, but there are still a lot of things you can change by using the settings, but for example the cart, is something that's not really customizable. For that, you use the Cadence Shop Kit, gives you some customizability, and also the Cadence Elements will allow us to add some text in between um, to, to make a custom, a little bit more um, custom. Okay? So if you didn't use WooCommerce and Cadence uh, yet, then you now know what the capabilities are. This is just WooCommerce, it's free, and this is also with Cadence. This is all going to be available. I think at least with the Cadence free team as well. So have a look at it and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.